This sewing thing is honestly not for me. This looks horrible. If that's how you feel about your sewing projects, then you're in the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to be discussing 10 mistakes that you're making right now that are definitely ruining your sewing projects. But don't worry, for each one of these mistakes, I'm going to be presenting a solution. Sewing should be fun. And once you fix these things, you should find joy in sewing again. So let's get into it. You're cutting without a sewing pattern. Sewing patterns are helpful because they take the guesswork out of sewing. All you have to do is pin them to your fabric and start cutting. Without a sewing pattern, you're more likely to cut your garment pieces incorrectly and you end up doing more work than necessary. You can make your own sewing patterns or buy PDF patterns online. You can find links to my PDF patterns in the description. You're cutting your garments too small. This will lead to clothes that fit you too tightly. This means you have to start all over with new fabric or try to upsize the garment you just made. That isn't always possible and even if it is, it will take more time and your clothes won't look as neat as it could have if you got the right size in the first place. When you make your own pattern or use PDF patterns, you can get the right size for you. It's actually better to cut your garment bigger and downsize rather than to cut it small and upsize. This also means that you need to measure yourself correctly. Watch this video to learn how. Using thread that doesn't match your fabric. It's basic knowledge that you should use the same color thread as your fabric. This will make it look neater because the threads will blend in. Even if you make a mistake, at least it won't be majorly obvious. Some designs have contrasting fabric and thread, but it's all a part of the intended design. If you're going to be using another color thread intentionally, you have to sew perfectly straight lines even if it's around a curve. Using the incorrect fabric. This can make or break the clothes that you're making. If you're making a dress that's best made with heavy knit fabrics, but you use interlock fabric, it may not fit you the same way because interlock only stretches one way. If you're making a circle skirt and you use a very lightweight fabric, you may not get the flared effects that you want because the fabric is too light. If you want your clothes to come out perfectly, use the appropriate fabric. Consider the weight of the fabric, the way the fabric drapes, and how stretchy it is. Using a needle that is too big. If you've ever been sewing heavyweight fabrics and your thread keeps popping, it's highly likely that your needle is too small. This can happen with fabrics like denim, leatherette, and canvas. For these fabrics, use size 14 needles and upwards. Use size 16 up to 18 with super heavy fabrics. Likewise, if you sew lightweight fabrics with those needles, they leave holes in your fabric and damage your garment. Lightweight fabrics are best sewn with size 12 needles and below. If you've ever made something and you notice that the seams are tearing, it's because you used a needle that was too big. Watch this video to learn about needle sizes. If you're liking these tips so far, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more sewing content. Overstitching. This is when you stitch over one area too many times. This can turn out looking tacky and it can also cause your seams to rip. Even though it makes your stitching more secure, you do want to keep this at a minimum and also overstitch in places that are less obvious rather than places that are very obvious not stitching in a straight line. This will make your garment look low quality and you probably won't feel confident wearing it in public. Garments look more professional when they're sewn with straight lines even if it's around a curve. Practice sewing in a straight line with this video and remember that practice makes perfect. Using the wrong sewing machine settings. 
there are two major settings on your sewing machine that you can adjust to get the right stitch the stitch length and the tension when your tension is too low you may end up with skipped or loose stitches when the tension is too high your thread will pop continuously and that can be really annoying not ironing seams and folds garments look better when the seams are pressed in between each step when you iron your seams they become flat and crisp when you don't they're puffy you can press your seam open or you can press the allowance to one side this is best when you're going to be top stitching the seam not stretching fabrics while you sew if you're sewing stretchy fabrics with regular thread you must stretch while you sew to maintain the stretch of the fabric if not your stretchy fabric will not stretch anymore and when you're ready to wear them the threads will start popping and you don't want that watch this video next to learn about eight sewing hacks that every sewist should know